Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I've finally finished putting together my uh, bushcraft equipment belt. Now you may have seen my previous video on this when I had a couple of the bits already, um, but this is now all put together. A um, couple of the pouches courtesy of Manuel at Northwind Leatherworks. Um, so this is the belt, um, which as I say you may have seen before. Um, and on my right hand side I've got my pouch that holds my knife and just pop this shut and also my fire steel. Um, so these are all together. I've got my knife and a way of making fire permanently attached to my belt. Um, on the other side, um, this is my newest pouch and I'll, I'll take this off in a second and show you a little bit more about it. Um, but I've got, hopefully just see there, I've got an Altoids tin which has got my little EDC bushcraft kit. Um, and Manuel very kindly modified this slightly. It should have been for a fire steel, uh, but he's actually modified it so that it will take my Phoenix LD15 so again I've always got a torch handy as well which is nice and useful and it just meant I could take it out of the uh, uh, the Altoids tin and put a few more things in there um, and then just around the back hopefully you can see this wasn't from Wolfwind this was from um, somebody else in the UK um, again really nice little pouch it fits an Altoids tin in there and that's got my EDC fire kit um, now again I won't go too deeply into all of this because there is another video I've put up about this already, but you've got this um, Australopin buckle, which is absolutely rock solid. Nothing's going to happen with that. It's not going to come undone. And you very simply just have to push these two bits together and it will release. Um, so the belt itself, I'll make sure I get this in shot. Um, as you can see, I mean, it's a really, really good quality belt. Um, the pouches are absolutely lovely. They are a really nice dark dyed finish. Um, flip that over to the other side again. You can see sort of the connections uh, for these are really, really simple. They're just two basic leather straps that go over the entire pouch. And that's the same for all three of these pouches, in fact. Um, and they come over onto the front side with just a couple of poppers that are not gonna go anywhere. Um, so the whole thing, you know, I can move this around, I can shake it around. Um, not that I'm prone to running, but if I'm in the woodland and I'm, I, you know, I want to have a jog somewhere, this is, all of this is going absolutely nowhere. Um, now, in terms of the new pouch, which I say Manuel was kind enough to, to slightly modify for me. So, this is it. It's the uh, Wolfwind equipment pouch. Um, so you've got the nice little logo on there, which he puts on all of his gear. Um, and again, double poppered flap and um, there's a really really nice piece of almost seat belt material in here which you just pull up let me do that again in shot so you basically just pull that up and your Altoid tin pops up ready for you to use um, and when you're ready to put it back in you just drop it back down push that down it all seats in nicely tucks and hidden away like so um, and again, you've got um, my little torch pouch, uh, or my little torch ring here. Um, so again, this is a really tight fit, um, and I'm sure this will loosen up over time. Um, and if that does happen, um, what I'll do is I'll get a little bit of elastic, put that on here, um, and just wrap it underneath just to hold it in, in place. Um, but all in all, I'm really, really pleased with this, uh, this belt kit. Um, what it means is that I've got my fire kit, I've got my little EDC kit, I've got my Swiss Army knife and a few other pieces in there. Um, I've got my uh, TBS bore folding knife and my fire steel. Um, and to be honest, I don't really need anything more than that for bushcraft. Um, you know, I've still got a small pack um, that I'll take with me that will keep my water bottle. Um, it'll take my titanium mug so I can boil water or cook food. Um, probably a few other little bits and pieces, maybe my saw and my axe if I need them when I go out. Uh, but certainly if I'm just going out for a, for a short afternoon trip and I want to practice a little bit of bushcraft, maybe I want to um, you know, do a little bit of knife work. Um, I've recently been getting into looking into um, you know, making traps and things like that, um, just because it's something that interests me um, and I've never tried it before, so I hope to have a few videos about that coming up. Um, but all of this will allow me to do that. And the, the big benefit, I'll leave the pouch off, uh, but basically the big benefit of this, this system is that it sits nice nice and comfortably 
over your clothing so you can either have this over a shirt like I have if it's cold winter time um, you know you can put it over a jacket as well the belt is adjustable um, this is I think a 36 inch and there's three inches worth of adjustment so it goes all the way up to 39 which which you know should should last me if I don't put on too much weight um, for, for, for my lifetime certainly um, and it just means everything's accessible so what I what I don't like doing is having everything in a small pack um, you then got to open the pack every time you want to put something in and out, especially in damp conditions. You don't want to be leaving things down on the floor. Um, you don't want to put things on the ground because, A, they may get dirty and, and, and wet and then potentially rusty. Um, and you also, you know, you don't want to leave things lying around because you can forget things. Um, I've done it in the past. I've left uh, one of my Mora knives on the ground, uh, in a sheath, but uh, on the ground and I've left the area going back home and it's only when I've got home and I've unpacked my bag that I've realised I've left it. So this just means everything is now nicely attached to me um, and again in the winter time especially if I put it on my, my belt for my trousers um, it means I, yeah, if I take this, this off I'll give you an example. So if I've got my, my knife attached here on my belt um, the problem I'm going to have is in the winter time I'm going to have to lift up my clothing like this to get to my knife which means I'm exposing my skin, um, which I don't really want to do. Um, you know, the last thing you want to do in, in, in winter conditions or cold conditions is, is start exposing your, 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 either your, your internal clothing or your skin to the cold um, because you'll just be that much more susceptible to it. Uh, but I hope that was helpful, guys. Um, if anyone's looking to put together a kit like this, um, I can heartily recommend um, the chaps at Wolfwind Leatherworks. Um, again, you can go as, as expensive or as cheap as you like with this. You know, you can go down to a, a regular shop, um, buy a, a, a belt for five or ten pounds. Um, you can get various types of pouches. Um, you can go sort of like the, the nice tall leather way that I have. Um, you've got companies like Maxpedition um, and even cheaper versions than that. that all, all do very, very good quality pouches. It just depends on the sizes that you want, what you want to contain in your pouches. Um, and, and you know what's going to work for you. And I've I've seen people, you know, a, a knife, an axe, a saw, uh, maybe a, a fire kit, um, and a water bottle on the other side. Um, so it all depends on what type of bushcraft you're doing and what's going to work best for you. Uh, but anyway, as I say, I hope it was useful. Um, comments and questions in the box below. Feel free to hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I hope to see you all next time. Cheers, guys. Mm -hmm.